Good day, this is Chim Patel from Columbia Gorge Community College Renewable Energy Technology Program. This is Digital 2 EET 122. Before we start sequential logic, let's just talk about some general terms that you're going to hear over and over. Um, first off is a multi vibrator, just like the word vibrate, you know, something is changing. Okay, so a there's three different types of multi vibrators, namely the A stable the bistable, and the monostable. So stable means st stable. It's just going to stay in one spot. So that's that word, A. Something with an A in front of it, A stable, it's not stable. Something with bi in front of it, two, two stable states, and mono, one, so it's got one stable state. So, so it's not stable two stable states, one stable state. Okay, now let's just talk about our A-stable multivibrator. Um, an A-stable multivibrator, it's not stable, so basically it continually vacillates between two states. So if you can imagine, here's our A-stable uh, multivibrator, and when we apply power to it, out comes from here, a little timing diagram, a signal that is not stable. It continually vacillates between 1 and 0 with a repeatable frequency. This is what's known as an oscillator. Basically, it's oscillating between 0 and 1, and so forth. Um, this is also known by the important term clock. A clock is exactly that. It's a heartbeat. And clocks are very important for digital systems because they synchronize activity throughout the entire system. So A stable, not stable. It's constantly going from 1 to 0, 1 to 0, 1 to 0 with a given frequency. You can change the frequency, too, by the way. Um, Bistable. Okay, the second category, bistable multivibrators. Basically, two stable states. If you think about that, here is we can call there's two general uh, bistable multivibrators, and the, the flip flop and the latch. So there's two stable states. You go ahead and provide. Oops. You go ahead and provide some input, and here's your output. And whatever that input may be, you know, it could be a clock coming in. For every pulse of the clock, you can get a stable one. And it's going to store that stable one because that's one of the stable states for as long as long as it as long as it can. You know, it's it's stable. Okay, and then you could also have another pulse that comes along and it changes it to a zero. And it's going to stay in that stable zero. Um, so think about this. This is a memory. This is basically a means of memorizing something. You know, these are flip-flops and latches. Okay? So monostable. Okay, there's one stable condition. Okay, so you've got an input and our output. So let's say our one stable condition is a zero. Okay, and you apply some pulse to it. What it's going to do, it's going to come up to one and immediately come back to its one stable, monostable condition. So it's, what it's producing is a momentary pulse. And that's all a monostable vibrator, uh, multivibrator does. Um, these are known as one shots. You know, just think about it. It's a um, like an AT4 or a law with one missile inside it. You fire it and it's gone. Um, the uh, yeah, so three of them. We've got our A stable, which is our oscillator or our clock. Our bi stable, which is a form of memory, and that's a flip flop or a latch. And then you've got your mono stable. It's got one stable state, and that's a one shot. 
okay? So in this particular one, it was a low stable state, so it's always at a zero, and until one pulse is provided to it, and until another pulse comes along, it's gonna stay at that one stable state. Okay, let's go back up here and talk about the clock. Okay, so the clock, let me go ahead and make this a little bit easier to read. And there's our clock signal right here, and it's got a certain frequency, certain time period and frequency, and it's got a certain value, so it goes from 0 to 1, um, and it's just repetitive. Okay, one would think that's all you can talk about a clock signal. Well, there's actually a lot more um, that goes with clock signals, because say this is your chip right here, and it requires a clock signal to come in. Now, what it is, it's looking for a stable beat. Like, when do I act? And you think about it here, here's a repetitive frequency between here and here. But it could act right there on that positive rising. Could add that on that positive top portion of it. It could act as that negative falling edge. It could also act on this, this low valley. So there's four different types of clocks here, what I'm saying. And here, let me go ahead and... So here, this, this one, which I've just drawn here, what that one is, it's this portion. That right there. Whoop. Because there's nothing... Uh, on here to indicate that there's anything special. It's it's taking that positive portion right there. But now, if I was to draw this on the input of the clock, a little bubble, what would you expect that to be? Well, normally that's our symbol for active low, but for a clock, what it means is right there. That's my heartbeat, okay? take an active low heartbeat. Okay, now, if I was to put this on the symbol for my clock, little triangle here, what that means is take the leading edge. And because there's a bubble, it's taking the leading fall, excuse me, taking the falling edge, that right there. So that's my beat. So all actions occur on the negative falling edge of the pulse. But now if I was to get rid of the little bubble, what do you think this would mean? It would probably mean synchronize all actions around the positive rising edge of the pulse. Okay, so four different types of clock signals, and they're known by, basically, that's just our positive the top portion of it, our negative, the bottom portion of it, the rising positive edge, the falling negative edge of a pulse. So if you see these symbols, that's where uh, four different types of clocks, three different types of multivibrators, A-stable, bistable, monostable, and an A-stable is an oscillator or a clock. As you can see, there's our clock signal right there. Our bistable is our memory devices, our flip-flops and latches. And our monostable is our one-shot, which produces a brief momentary pulse, and then it falls back to its regular stable state.